Hello and welcome back to HVAC Shop Talk. I am Zach Sieta, host of the HVAC Shop Talk podcast and this channel, also called HVAC Shop Talk, which you already know because you're watching it right now. But I wanted to give you guys a few tips here, and we're talking about ductwork today. Not sizing ductwork per se, but it has to do with ductwork size. And here's what I mean. This can be used both in a service capacity and an install capacity because sometimes on the install side, things can get lost between design and application. And on the service side, sometimes issues are hiding. And this little tip might just help you figure out some things that are that are happening, but you can't quite put your finger on why they're happening. Okay. So a lot of us have done square duct work in the past, made square plenums. A lot of times you'll have long runs of square duct work and typical sizes might be 10 by eight, 20 by eight, 30 by eight. Typically that's as large as the by eights go. You have by tens and by twelves, depending on where you're at. Sometimes supply houses stock certain sizes and not others. The most common in my area is by eight and by 10. So you'll see these long runs of duct work and maybe you're having an issue with system airflow and this might be the reason why. All right, let's say that Johnny Sells guy has sold himself a job and he's feeling great and he sold a two ton job and the boss man wants to come design the job. And he says, we have a two ton system going in. So what we're going to do is we're going to run 20 by eight trunk duct and reduce as we need to, as runs are taken off of it. That sounds like a great idea. 20 by eight is plenty large enough. We'll talk about the system for sizing duct work later, but 20 by eight is sufficient for two tons. That's 160 square inches of duct space. So this is where design and application might diverge. You're running the duct work and let's say it's going to be wrapped, but either the customer or something happens on the job and you decide to line the duct work. Let's say the decision is made to put two inch duct liner in that duct. Keeping in mind that your duct is designed for two tons of air conditioning, which is 800 CFM of flow, and you have 160 square inches. Now, typically two ton requires around 144 square inches or greater. So 160 is sufficient. And again, we'll talk about those systems for designing that later. So you go in there and you're putting two inch liner in this and you're just an install guy. So you put your two inch liner on this duct and all of a sudden it's four inches shorter on both sides. So instead of having 20 by eight duct, you have 16 by four, 16 times four is 64. It's not even half where you need to be. Now, this is a dramatic example. Maybe you have one inch liner in there. Maybe you have inch and a half liner. Maybe the duct is size larger. You can see how adding liner to that duct work makes it very constricted and you're going to have a major airflow issue and will likely have to service that thing. As soon as it's started up, if you have a furnace, probably for overheating, if you have an air conditioner, perhaps for freezing or running a very low suction and superheat or for a variety of other issues, noise it could be many, many different things. So that's just something that you can use as an installer tidbit to say, Hey, wait a second. We didn't mean to size this for a line duct. So now we're lining it. We should be enlarging it. Or if you're a service tech and you're having issues, a lot of times you can just tap on the side of that duct and you'll know if it's lined or not. It has a more of a, a damp and thud noise if a duct is lined and maybe it looks big from the outside, looks sufficient from the outside. But once you open it up, you realize it ain't that big for what it needs to be. So just a couple quick tips, guys, about line duct work. I hope that helps you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video if you did enjoy it or could use that knowledge. And hopefully you can give me some great ideas for future topics in the comments because I'd love to cover things that you guys want to know about. Again. We're making these videos multiple times a week. So if you want something covered, you probably won't have to wait long to see it covered. So put those comments in the bottom. And if you want some new HVAC Shop Talk gear, we now have that for sale. There's a link in the video description to go get some swag from our store. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.